on. What's that? Dad, we've got company. A welcoming party from the WDSO. Dollface and I'll chase them off course. It's a gamble, but maybe we can create a diversion. Chase them off where? If anything happens, go to Mary's on level 5 at Central Station and you can hide there. You'll be safe. I feel funny. Not right. You ready to get back into action? You hear me, doll? <gasps> yes! So strange. It's not the orbital elevator. What then? Here we go. All units, Formation Delta. It's new Mars technology, so don't get fancy. She might surprise us. Billy! What the... What's going on? WDSO, identify! I'm sorry, but you're in the way here. You'll have to go. Someone's giving us a hand. Playtime! I don't think he's friendly. Let's get him on the run. His street fire might hit future. Sir! Where you going? Dad's signal is fading. He's opened up the path for us, like he said. <laughs> Playing hardball, huh? Hey, Dollface, go to anti self and let's get this jerk. Um, Sir Uncle, I don't want to fight. What? This is no time for debate. Sir Uncle, I have a really bad feeling about this. <laughs> you have no idea what you're piloting there, do you? Wait, I know that voice! You're the one! You're the killer! Oh! Oh, sir, uncle! What's wrong? What is it? What's going on? Talk to me, Dolphie! Hey! Get us out of here! Snap out of it! Who are you? Do something or we're gonna be head three! Playtime's over, delivery boy. Time to open the package. Hostile 
force disabled. Combat capability 30%. Prepare to eliminate. Great Scott! <laughs> Ice is at last. She's not listening. She's gone completely into some pre-programmed battle operative. I can't get through to her. Target confirmed. Heading on course for satellite TH9. We are in pursuit. Copy. We'll just make a little adjustment ourselves. Target shield effectiveness 45%. Smash power 25% with rising. Don't! Check it out! We're in big trouble! That's Central Station just ahead. And we've got lots of friends! We're nearly in range. We've got to get out of here. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Uh, Noel, I, I can't, go th can't go through with this! Settle down. There's nothing to it. I, I can't believe Dad did this to us. It's okay. It's all right here. Okay. It's just gone. Fuselage damage is at 65%. I'm storing Raptor and picking up the two from the shuttle. We'll get ISIS afterwards. Roger. She won't put up a fight. There's no way her pilot lived through all that. never works when I need it. Well, did you connect? The residential net area is too small here for me to get a line going. Or he's lost. That explosion was a doozy, sis. Let's face the facts. Don't say that, Leon. Keep trying. Let's just go to the rendezvous like you told us and wait. I could hack into the army's net. We're not open yet. Hello. This just in on the Lynx case. 
We have confirmed reports that the shuttlecraft in which the Lynx family escaped the Earth's atmosphere was shot down by LED huh. approaching Central Station. So far, no word on the possibility of survivors. I want to see the body. Is there a body? No. It was an explosion with a diameter of a full kilometer, sir. The body would have evaporated in the fuselage. Yes, well, that's a pathetic end to a pathetic life. At least he went clean. A flight recorder was recovered, but five LEVs were also destroyed. And what about the two John Carter brats? We believe they entered Central Station. <laughs> well, that'll be easy enough for you fools to pick up now that they're on their own. I want the Central Station canvas top to bottom to flush them out. We'll make an example of these Martian spies once and for all. Yes, sir. Explosion confirmed at 12 o'clock. Evasive... No! The explosion coincides exactly with the heading on Dad at our point of separation, Noel. I don't see any way he survived. It's not true! I just feel it in my gut, Leon. There's just no chance he could have escaped a blast of that sheer magnitude. If he did, then where the hell is he now? I just don't believe it. <clears throat> huh? Oh, your poor father. He was so brave to meet such a terrible end. Stop saying that! I'm sure my dad's alive! I know it's hard, but denial can only make it worse. You poor orphan children. This is all your father left. What a sad, sad legacy. His bar tab? <laughs> That's what you're giving us? I just know he would have wanted you to do the right thing. Do the honorable thing. He was such a good man. So honest and upright. Oh. <laughs> Fine, for Dad's name's sake. This'll do nicely. And don't worry, because Mary's going to take special care of you. Huh. Hmm. We're in it deep now. Hmm. When the old man came around, there was always trouble. But this... Let's just recap how Dad has totally screwed up our lives, shall we? How about we skip it this time? What's the point of going on? Let's face it, we don't have a whole lot of options, sis. We can die, running, or in prison. And I'll end up with some roommate named Bubba who thinks I look like his mother. Just great. And we'll all look back on this and laugh. <laughs> Kitty? <sighs> Kitty! <laughs> Doll face. It seems I'm pretty broken up. We set course for Central Station. It's not too far from here. Are you hurt bad? I feel like I want to fade away. I'm so tired. You're all right. You gotta hang on now. Yes. Tell me to hang on. Tell me a story, so I can hold on. Anything, doll. Tell me a story about who made me. Her name's Rachel. There's so much I don't know. Tell me all about her. I don't know where to begin with a story, doll. Let's see. We met more than 20 years ago. I'll start there. Oh, <laughs> 
I fell in love at first sight. If you'd seen her, you'd know why. She was beautiful, smart. At first, she wouldn't even give me the time of day. She thought we were too different, Martian and Earthling. I didn't care. I only saw her. And when Leon was born, she quit her job and settled into raising the family. And we were so happy. What do you mean? How can you just leave us? But then, interplanetary relations went sour. She turned all in on herself. She was troubled by the thought of her people suffering. She had a beautiful mind and she wanted to use it to help her people, to help Mars. We'd long ago decided to raise the children as Earthlings to avoid any possible discrimination. But Rachel's heart was with her home planet. I suddenly realized I didn't know her at all, this woman I had loved all those years. All I knew was that she was sure about what she needed to do. And who was I to hold her back? There was no making the kids understand, though. And then we got the notice. She died in an accident on Mars. Like that. In an instant. It was all too late. Leon and Noel blamed me for driving her away somehow. For being the cause of it. And I quit the army and took a transporter job, flying all over the galaxy. I guess I was thinking that if I could just be out there looking, I, I could find her somehow. I don't know what it was that made me keep looking, hoping to see her face on some remote station. I wanted to find her, or them, somehow put back together what had been broken. I had to do something. Face, you're still with me? Yeah, Uncle. I I don't think I can hang on. Listen up, doll. I'm gonna fix you. Hold tight. Uncle. Wait! You can't! Hey, you'll be all right. I'm gonna make it all right. up and turn around. Well, isn't this nice? It's Leon Lynx. Yeah. Leon. Noel, where you been, huh? friend? 
Riding on a ship of clouds. 